Hey, what's up? Made it. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me encourage you to come on up, and uh, we're going to get started here in one second. Representative Verb just made it back from Harrisburg. We're grateful he's here. You can clap for him. It's all right. Uh, I'm going to invite Commissioner Arcus, Secretary Richards, Representative Verb, to come up and stand here uh, with us. And let me also invite all of the local elected officials uh, from Upper and Lower Providence in Collegeville, please come up if you'd like and join us. Uh, this was a collaborative effort. I see Chief Toomey, members of law enforcement, if you'd like to come up, we'd love to have you up yeah, here. Come on. Woo! Hey. And let me let me also welcome uh, our senior team, Lauren and Lee, and guys to come up as well. We can start it here in just one second. We were worried it was going to rain. Now it's, uh, yeah. it's warm. <laughs> well, it won't rain if it keeps it up. Excited. <laughs> Mike, Mike, you can loosen up a little bit if you want to take off the jack. Here, come on, let's. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Josh Shapiro. I'm proud to serve as chairman of the Montgomery County Board of Commissioners. Excited to be here with you today and to be joined by my colleague, Commissioner Val Arkush. And Commissioner Joe Gale was unable to be here, but sends his regards as well. You're also going to hear in just a moment, we're incredibly honored to have her here, the Secretary of PennDOT and former Montgomery County Commissioner, Secretary Leslie Richards is with us. And we'll also hear from our local state representative, Mike Ver. When we took office here in Montgomery County four years ago, at the time we had 132 bridges in Montgomery County, of which 62 of them, 62 of them, were deemed structurally deficient. Since then, we want you to know that all across Montgomery County, we've activated 40 bridge project, projects. Nine are already complete. Six more will be completed by the end of this calendar year, and 25 of them are in other phases, and we have plans for the rest. The Arcola Road Bridge, which stands behind me and will be opened up in just a few moments, is obviously a critically important bridge and piece of infrastructure here in Montgomery County, serving 8,238 daily users. Oh Although I'd point out maybe it's going to be 8,239 at least yeah. <laughs> when this is over. I know people are excited for this to, to be here. This connects obviously Upper and Lower Providence and as I've heard from many of you, it will cut down your commute time to Wegmans by about 20 minutes. <laughs> now that this is over. Obviously we've had many partners along the way including PennDOT and before PennDOT shut down this bridge for obvious reasons, Montgomery County already had a plan in place to deal with it. We coordinated with your wonderful state representative, Mike Verb, with the affected townships of which many of your leaders are standing behind me here today from Lower Providence and Upper Providence and Collegeville. And most importantly, and I remember this, I still got the scars to prove it, we had a town hall meeting at the school right up the street. I think about 700 people showed up. We had to move into the bigger auditorium. But what that demonstrated to me was a couple things. Number one, people really care about their community. And number two, people really care about their infrastructure. And they just wanted someone to do something about it. And we at Montgomery County, together with our partners, stepped up and did that. So today, I am incredibly pleased and proud to be able to announce the reopening of the Arcola Road Bridge here in Montgomery County. It is on time and it is under budget. How about that? Actually, technically we're four days early, but yeah. who's counting? The design estimate for this bridge was $6,046,360, and it came in at a price of $5.4 million. So we got this infrastructure rebuilt, reopened, and saved taxpayer money at the time. 80% of it was funded by our federal partners, 15% by the state, and 5% 
by Montgomery County. There are so many people to thank. I'd like to acknowledge some of them again, the local elected officials from Upper Providence, Lower Providence, and Collegeville. Let me thank State Representative Mike Verab, and I'll have a few words about him uh, later today. State Senator John Rafferty, represented by his staff, John Minera, who is here. Secretary Richards and PennDOT's District 6. I know that she will acknowledge them. And then let me take a moment and thank our team. Uh, Lauren Lambrugo, who's our chief operating officer. Every project in the county goes across her desk. She did a great job. Lee Soltisiak, who literally was out here in shirt and tie the other day, making some last minute uh, changes to get this thing open. Greta Riley from our Roads and Bridge Department. Susan Geisinger Cullen from McCormick Taylor, of course, the contractors at Allen Myers. Our former Director of Assets and Infrastructure, Ken Starr. And Chris Smith, our Outstanding Director of Assets and Infrastructure here in Montgomery County. We thank them all very, very much for their outstanding work. And with that, I want to just recognize one other individual before turning it over to the vice chair of our board. John Dyson is here. Mr. Dyson, believe it or not, he looks damn good. He's 93 years old. 93 years old. John traveled many miles to be here today, but I'll tell you why he's here. Because John, I believe, is the only one among us who walked across the original wooden Arcola Road Bridge. And he wanted to come back today to see this bridge rebuilt. So John, we're really grateful that you're here. And with that, everything we do in Montgomery County is a team effort, and it starts and ends with the Vice Chair of our Board of Commissioners, Commissioner Val Arkush. Val? Yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a real pleasure to see so many people here on a Friday afternoon at the beginning of a holiday weekend. Something tells me you're more, a little more excited about this bridge opening than that holiday that we're celebrating on Monday. Is that true? <laughs> I know it's been a long time coming. As Commissioner Shapiro told you, the county has embarked on a very comprehensive plan to slowly, steadily repair all of our deficient bridges in the county. This year in 2016, we are set to invest $31,770,199, exactly, in county-owned roads and bridges. We have over 30 active projects underway just this year, and today I am so pleased that there is one less bridge on that Yay. list as we open the Arcola Road Bridge. I also want to point out that we didn't just replace the bridge, and we certainly didn't go back to the wooden structure that our friend here walked across, but we've actually pretty dramatically improved the bridge. The bridge is now wider, safer, and has a larger capacity, able to accommodate what is ultimately expected to be over 20,000 vehicles a day. Now, we may not see that many, but it can actually accommodate that many, so that's a huge step forward. The bridge is now also able to accommodate heavy equipment and emergency vehicles much more readily. The bridge has a two-lane span covering 267 feet in length with shoulders and now a much safer sidewalk for pedestrians. Yay. And very importantly, the bridge is one foot higher than it used to be with l larger spans. So in the case of a large rain or flooding event, it will be able to allow much more water to flow under the bridge and decrease the flooding impact or potential impact on the neighborhoods in the area. So thank you so much to everyone involved in this project. Most importantly, I want to thank all of the neighbors who have endured a pretty lengthy detour for a number of years. You have been patient and understanding, and we are grateful for that. Mostly patient. <laughs> but we know, we know. And we worked incredibly hard, and I really want to give another shout out to our county team because we pushed so hard to get this bridge open for this holiday weekend. So I'm glad that you'll be able to enjoy it and hear here and let's start the celebration. Thank you. Thank you, Val Arkush. These projects don't happen unless you work together and unless you have great partners at the state level. Now, when Representative Verb goes to Harrisburg, he votes our interests here in Montgomery County and he votes your interests, his constituents in Upper Providence, Lower Providence, and across this area. But what you don't know about Mike is that he doesn't hesitate to show up on a 
Saturday morning and just walk around and check things out on the bridge oh, and make yeah, sure yeah, it was yeah. going all right. We've he doesn't seen hesitate to pick up the phone and push people along when he thinks they're not working fast enough. He doesn't hesitate to cut through some of the red tape that uh, often frustrates all of us about government. He is a guy who knows how to get things done. And I think, folks, no matter what your party, where you're from, who you like for president, it doesn't matter. What I think frustrates a lot of us is when government doesn't work well together and get things done. Not so here in Montgomery County, especially when it comes to Mike Verb. He understands how to get things done. And this bridge quite literally would not be standing if he didn't put in the great work that he did. Now, he also would be the first to admit and acknowledge that none of this happens without really great staff. And he had a terrific member of his staff named Brian Kadunk. And Brian is not with us anymore. Brian passed mm -hmm. away recently. Mm -hmm. But Brian worked through all those planning meetings and Brian worked through all of those uh, times when we were maybe a little frustrated with the progress to get things done and ultimately got things done. And the Montgomery County Commissioners have come together um, in honor of Brian's work to dedicate this bridge to him. There's a special plaque that you'll see over there, um, and you should check it out when you're done. Brian was obviously an important part of Mike's life, an important part of a lot of people's lives, but Brian was at the table when this incredible project came together, when people all worked together to try and improve the community, and we really appreciate what he did, and we especially appreciate what your state representative did, Representative Mike Bear. Mike. So a lot of people to thank and uh, you know during this project we've gained some friends and we clearly made some some enemies <laughs> but that's okay you can get the Wegmans quicker now yeah. you know so many you know these things are are somewhat political the politicians stand up and do the ribbon cutting